Sheriff at the ready for Carpy, but it gets dropped immediately, and Mako kicks things off in perfect fashion for DRX. Excurit will try to stabilize with the Cascade, but he's so low on health, 15 HP. Saya player now with the Sheriff. He'll try to find a timing as the opponents on DRX have already gone through the stairs. Excurit just trying to stay alive. He just wants to buy time until his teammates arrive, but Saya player can't land a one shot, a single one onto Buzz, and Foxy9 will get another. And it looks like it's all down to Rossi. Picks up the Sheriff. He can land the shots. Still doable considering the health on Mako. He can dwindle down the numbers. But DRX, they're just not giving him an angle at all. Look at where Bane is tucked away right behind that crate. Already taking a little bit of damage to Rossi. Not much at all. Buzz just tagging him up for a few hit points. Yeah, look at that reposition from Buzz as well. Just goes in between the pyramids. Doesn't want to give that long range sideline to the Sheriff. Formation on the side of T1 right now. They need to push out for contact, but he's checking the wrong corner. And it's a swing out for Buzz as well. They thought it was a further back shot, and it was. But little did they know, the Jet holding close, sight broken open. And now T1 on their first buy round, down to three Spike members planted. already. Uh, the discipline and the reads have been so good for DRX. It's going to be a couple players from a lot of different directions that DRX is potentially going to have to account for. It's like now, though, they're going to move away from elbow, two from link, one from the site. They'll approach the site itself. Cascade to cut off that angle, but it's going to be Bane who tags him a little oh bit. My. Forces Excure to just stand there, wait for another peek out. Funny. And look at this, just the ping pong back and forth in the aggro. And DRX looks like they never lost a beat, even with Bane entering. As the flash comes out, Bane gets the last kill. Farmers, we'll see if it comes into play at all. It's just going to be a pinch onto A from the metal door, and it's going to be Buzz high up above. Meanwhile, Foxy Knight oh takes out one kill in the middle of the map. Excure will hold strong, and Carpe swinging out as well. Sprays for a bit too long, gives Mako a chance to recover. Bane finds one, can't land the shot onto Rossi. Has to get the gate crash. Mako down, Bane catches one, gate crash out. Now Spike still a little ways away, but Izu has not heard the TP. Bane's just looking for it, and he finds the target. Izu this is so aggressive. Here the jet, and he gets the shot right through the poison cloud as well. Dwindles down the numbers, they still got 50 seconds. Trying to fake the rotate, cuts audio and looking to creep in once again. Yeah. Now the rifle in the hands of Buzz. This is when the entry happens, but the same angle held by Izu. This could be everything. No, Mako swings out, and DRX, they fan out, but the remaining members of T1, they'll dwindle down the numbers. Carpe good for two, but now Foxy9, he has to clean up the site. It's a 1v2, 30 seconds. He has to recover the spike first. Euro that, but only 10 HP, and all the way from mid. Who's next? So far out, Izu going to lurk and gets oh, Foxy. Swings out, Foxy Knight not quite ready for it. Wanted to check Nest first. So now the counter dimensional drift, they'll take that Q to try to push in. The Cove denying that flash. Bane, he'll take over the Cove for the time being, but they're now trapped inside. Excurit only good for one kill. Bane will stabilize, he flashes out of the toxic screen. Gate crashes back out, Izu. Meanwhile, spike drops the spike a. away from DRX. 40 seconds on the clock. The gate crash to try to create a crossfire, but Rossi, might be aware of it. He's up standing. far. He gets one kill, checks for the TP, and then swings right back out. Just wanted to set up on a main. DRX, though, they might have a read on this. And it's a quick push in. Buzz right up above. Gets both trying to anchor down on the site. Izu, he's providing backup, but he might just be a little too late. He has to stay alive all alone. Goes for the flashes to buy time. Finds a third. He is able to get that kill. Now only two members left alive. Finds another. They still don't know about Mako's position, but Izu might be well aware. That's a triple for him. Stays alive. Spike dropped on the site. Calls for backup. Tough situation for him. Carpe right over there. Sees the head. Sees the head. He finally notices it. A little bit shaky, but will secure the kill, not taking too much damage. Still just not quite sure. Did this Euro leave? Is he back? So many angles to check. And Saya will make the call if Foxy9 ever crosses over. Foxy9 finds him at long range. Saya's just not looking left. for it, perhaps looking around, trying to clear the other side of the pillar. And now Izu, the mind games, it's already been 20 extra seconds. Is Foxy9 well aware of the possibility? The There's a cyber cage, he taps it. Cage but he's just cage. gonna wait. He's gonna start to push forward. Gate crash used. Is it going to be a fake? Is it going to be a TP? The mind games are on board. He's actually gonna TP over Foxy9. He's trying to read that it's a fake. He's trying to clear all the possibilities now that he knows it's not the peak, but Izu will get the quad. 
And the rookie shines once again for T1. Raider set up on A main once again. A jump peak. He gets spotted. He dashes forward a little bit. He gets body blocked by his own teammate. But Izu will go for the trade. Strives to stabilize this round. They have to win it out, if anything, but for Saya. And they will. And they should be able to recover the operator. DPR can just push the pace. Yeah, they're just going to go for the five man push once again into the site with the Blade Storm already planted on the site. B gets one kill. And it's going to be a jump over from Buzz. Trying to get above. He's trying to get the right oh. click and misses the Saya player. Waits for the shorty, but it's going to be a quick swing around as we see DRX open the site. Foxy9 available for the lurk if they need it. Three rifles versus the two members of T1. Tough situation. Or X Carpet. Carpet going to use the drone. Do have the Viper's Pit, though. We'll cover the spike in the back site. Ooh. The pit really trying to deny this. They just want to continue the lead here in the first half. They want to expand it all the way up to seven. Now, one member pinged out the Cove use to try to get at least to the half. It's not right in the pit just yet. They're right um, outside of it. They're not quite sure of it. They're checking for the spam, and he actually gets the defuse. Pretty much everybody here from Furious. He wants to challenge Foxy9. Shuts him down, rookie for rookie. Saya player, Blade Storm out. He needs to stay alive. The dash out from wow. Buzz. And Saya says, sit right back down on the ground. As we see Bane now trying to chase forward. He's the drone for Stacks as he gets two kills. That's the third for the round. Izu now back from mid. Needs to wait for Rossi, but he's going to try to hold on to the site all on his lonesome. He's done it before, but it's three members. Rossi now arriving on the site. Izu. Baited by the decoy for just a bit. Stacks three, the reload, but it's just finishing in time. And now all three members of DRX will be set up for the post plant in A main. Tagged already for Izu, the crowd chanting for the IGL to get his moment in the spotlight. Oh God. And oh goodness, it is the last round of the half. He'll try to find him. He knows he's TP'd. And Izu just staying alive. The round surely lost. There's the snake bite to secure it. To the cut noise, creep towards from left. tunnel. It's going to be a dash in. Checks for Bane, but they haven't cleared Foxy9 just yet. He's only good for one. Izu, gate crash all the way into the site. He'll get a double, opens up the site for his team. Excure it, he can't finish the kill, but stacks all the way down to 10 HP. Izu oh. with a third as well. The rookie from T1 trying to claim his place in stage one as he gets a fourth. Can he get the ace now this time? The crowd chanting for it once again, and it's the ace for Izu. And consider if you want to use the dimensional drift or not. To get some information, but he's way too out in the open. A bit of a Hail Mary there with the decoy. Now everybody getting spotted. Excurit will still thin the numbers, but that Cloud Burst has an opening, and Buzz and Mach will use it to perfection. Excurit trying to do just a bit more damage. If he can take down Buzz, down to 35 HP, three bullets left. That would be enough for some happiness on the side of T1, but DRX will stabilize with three Vandals carried over. Over towards A, setting up those traps and other things there. Fast push, but the pop flash, he's looking down at the ground as Saya antes it as well as he sees the animation come through. The calls are coming in. They know that the site has been opened up, and now they're just going to go for the A site. Dimensional Drift to make sure they clear it. They know that they've drawn away the positions away from DRX. DRX one to react to an attack like that. And the site yeah. is clear. Spy cam noted. Trips cleared and Spike planted for T1. Reckoning in stacks. right on stacks. He pushes in, he's trying to find a what? timing and he sprays down for Spike one, down. but it stops them all together and they're gonna have to swarm through the poison cloud. Buzz, he's surrounded, can't quite land a kill to finish it off and dwindle the numbers. Now Mako already on site, he finds one Messiah player with one HP, is able to swing out. Now a 3v1. Foxy9, the Spike hasn't been planted just yet. Left. Notices the jet. Dropping down behind the wall. Spike planted. Does he check for Excurit behind the box? He has his eyes trained on main and doesn't look like it. He's not thinking about it. Excurit finds him. That's another point back towards another reckoning. Do have the backup from main, but he's been spotted around the corner. The flashes, it's not good enough as Izu and Saya player, they swarm on either side of the wall. Backside clear, sight broken open. Rossi still in the lurk in mid. And DRX, once again, they don't have a good position for this retake just yet. Stacks. A little bit of damage, I think, to Saya there. That's a Ooh. really good snake bite, but Saya able to step just outside of it after the plant. Revealing area. Let's see if it can be cleared in time. Actually, doesn't catch anybody from that position. Yeah, it's going to be Excurit still spotted, though, on that peak from Mako. 
Meanwhile, we're going to see Buzz. He finds what? the shot on Tarasi. Now a 2v2. The op's still online. Remaining. He's trying to find a kill. Stacks will do it in the numbers. It's all up to Saya, but he's only got 41 HP. He wants to isolate the fights. He gets remaining. one. He knows that Buzz has the op. Trying to go for the dash with the classic. Doesn't want to give an opportunity to Buzz. Thinks he would have approached a lot sooner. Both sides approaching, and they feel like it's been enough. And Saya wow. out of timing off of the flash. He goes for the blind shot, down takes way. down DRX's operator. And there's an absolutely clear updraft with the blaze storm, trying to open it up, but still a 3v3. DRX are holding strong. Excure it on the lurk. We'll take down Mako. Makes the site just a bit weaker. Izu popping out of the dimension. We'll take down Stax. Foxy9, how many times have you been here? And once again, here. get three. A lot of their positions goes for the flash. Oh, and he play. picks it up. Can he get the? Oh, he can't get the Phantom in time as Carpe swings back around. So a short-lived moment, but he does take out the Viper. So that pressure on A a lot weaker now from T1 and the member, the two members, Foxy Nine and Buzz. They can keep their focus and a high alert on the side of B. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. I mean, you got the kill, but yeah, Is bought that, time. Got yeah, the kill? yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> Is it going to be enough? Are we grasping at enough straws uh, here yet? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, but, I mean, I don't know if I would have rather had that ult for a different round when you have guns, maybe. That's the only thing I'm thinking. 30 but, seconds oh, Foxy left. Foxy9, he's got an opportunity. They're creeping in. He sees the barrel, but he actually misses a shot through the poison cloud. A bit mismanaged on the length of the Vandal. Wasn't able to hit the headshot. And now, surely, DRX perhaps One reconsidering that dimensional drift. All the weapons oh, on the I side of T1. Another down, but Excure it, finally. And under Fury available. Buzz tries to land the shot. He gets the hit through the box. Rossi still healthy for the time being. Maka will pick him off, though. There's under Fury to clear the site. Bane now go for the trade, but Carpe with yet another with the bow and arrow. And Izu will stabilize the site. Stax gets pinged, has to wait for his teammate. Foxy9 has to arrive, but no, once again, last alive. Not fast enough to keep up pace with T1. And his first opponent will be Izu, who takes him down. T1 leads 1-0. Maybe a paranoia push or something like that. Oh, and the dash in, the fake pressure here from T1. Now both of them get taken out very quickly before the main force can even enter onto B site. So this should be a pretty hard tell for DRX. The paranoia coming out, but they still haven't cleared the trap wire. Foxy9 good for one. He won't be able to hang on, but Mako will clear Carpe. Now, Excure it with 70 HP. The last one alive trying to isolate more fights and Buzz will find him right around the corner. DRX right now, now these smokes in this dash are gonna alert, alert them to the presence. Stax oh, gets the spot, the, the trips. kill. They still can't clear it, it's another kill for Stax. They just keep running in and Stax, all he has to do is wait and zoom in on the crosshairs. Three kills for the IGL. And like you said, Carpe, he did everything he could to set up his teammates for a weaker site. But the traps were too much. And they will fall, giving DRX a 3-0 lead. A flawless with left. upgrades here on the bonus. Oh yeah, and even an orb grabbed at the end by Stax after that 3K. Puts him two away from the Seekers. Really nice stuff here by him and Foxy. Foxy's utility is going to be very, very important. Dash in. He actually tags him through the cloud Huge. burst as well. And DRX is all Five there. Mako for eight. the crossfire. The cam never spotted. Absolute hard read on this execute from T1. It's a common one for the double duelist, but DRX are well set up for it. And now just the two controllers from T1. The round is over before it even started at this point. Send a paranoia, they'll do whatever they can, but the same fight to keep them at bay. The spam through as well. I mean, both of them getting chipped quite a bit. Rossi all the way down to 25 HP. One enemy remaining. Mako. I mean, Mako is just peeking up and down nonstop, switching ropes, keeping Excure at bay, and then waiting for the peek out from Stax. Push through. They know that he has to back out, but the Seekers will keep them at bay. They're still pushing through, and Stax will peek out with it. He gets two, and the entry just cannot happen for T1. Yeah, I think maybe Izu getting a little greedy with his counter rocket. Destroyed. He's not able to find any value. The Seekers there setting up stacks nicely for that first kill. The second one was just insanely, insanely accurate. Spirit goes deep. So T1's creeping up. They think that it's only gonna be Foxy9 waiting. They're trying to push him out of his comfort spot. But there's a poison cloud. They'll get Foxy9, the trips are down. 
but Mako is here, unbeknownst to the entire squad of T1, and he sprays down for the double. Just the op in hand, Asaya player. Can he get out of the round alive with this one? Spicy. Okay, it's just cutting the audio, creeping in with the paranoia, but the counter paranoia is there. Is it enough to allow Stax to get the kills? The Seekers come out, and they line up behind their own cabbages. Stax will buy enough time for the teammates to arrive. 3v2, but it's still the best shot that T1 has ever had this map. Saya player, too many angles for him to cover. The smoke comes back up from Excurit. Saya player would like nothing more than to get an early peek. He wants to get one, at least one, dwindle it down to a fair 2v2. But the timing's not in his favor as DRX, they slow creep into the site. He's gonna be looking up into heaven. He gets one, but Foxy9 already in the site. There's a cyber cage. And Saya player's actually gonna get the kill onto Foxy9 somehow, as we see the dash forward from Saya. Well, I mean, different. Yeah, oh what a way to try to regain some control is Izu. Still not regaining that confidence, the stability just yet. And Saya will fall to his doom once again in the pit as well. I mean, T1, they're trying to force their way in, but as you said, DRX, not just Mako, the entire team and immovable object for the time being as they are just getting <laughs> pounced upon by Buzz. Oh, Buzz. I, this is... It's a rough game for T1. I mean, they make the switch from the Astro to the Omen. Second duel is out of your star rookie. Another set up onto heaven. But DRX is just reading through it. Izu finally logs on to a kill. Can he find the second? He still gets shut down by Foxy and I, but it's enough time bought. The site finally broken open. The first time T1 will get a taste of the A site here. The pit goes up and Excurit is on the lurk. He's waiting for the wraparound. If Excurit can get these kills. T1 might be on for another round in the first half. He's expecting two. Is oh, but he question. doesn't check oh. at all! He's looking for a timing around ramp. No! Not taking into account at all sewers! And now, Carpe and Rossi both in the pit. They don't really have too much of an option. Carpe checking for screens oh. on the wraparound. Not sure if he would have caught him. But meanwhile, they're gonna refill the pit. The paint shells come out, there's the pop flash. Seems like you did see him as he's trying to delay the jump down, but now they're swarming on. They've all landed on the site, the tap onto the spike. They're trying to draw them out. Rossi in elbow, it's close range. He gets taken down. Carpe tries to find a timing before the pit goes down, and Buzz will finish it up, but will they have time? They oh. will not! 0.22 seconds. Wow, B Evan getting swarmed. Rossi still on the lurk. He's waiting to try to capitalize against Buzz, but they hear that the operator was in B main. There's a showstopper. It's gonna land onto a double as Excurin also drops down from Evan. Gives another kill, and Foxy9 has arrived. Down to a 1v1. Aware of Rossi's position, it seems. The poison cloud. Does he go for a timing? He's gonna try to get both of them. Goes for elevation, and Foxy9 will be filled. Mako, meanwhile, going to switch places with Saya player. T1 Carpe will be holding onto the site, but Saya player whips the shots. He's not able to get the kills, and that might be the call to rotate. Heaven now broken up. Stax is trying to make sure that he goes down to vents, trying to rotate over to B. It's gonna be a quick backup from Excurit. Planks around, left. Paranoia at the ready. He just wants Fine. to lay them. He hears him running through. Paranoia, but it doesn't hit both. He gets one kill, but not the second. Stax jumping down, 3v2 for T1. Spike not planted yet, 15 seconds. This is a timing for them, Last Izu. Ooh, a couple of shots. <laughs> Rossi, nice and clean right off the top. And T1 will get a third round win. Sight on B, this Poison Cloud, they could be fanning out at any moment's notice. The paranoia is gonna be a quick fill from Rossi, but Buzz is one step ahead of him. Picks up one kill, Saya, can he go for a peek out? Oh, Buzz still clears out the site oh. though, and Saya player has to just run out to safety. Izu finding one corner around the snake bite. Smoke clears, and now everybody right around B heaven for T1, but there's still the lurk from Foxy9. You still got stacks over by B main as well. So many angles to clear. Izu trying to find one. He finds both. They are aware of two people's position. He knows it's a crossfire. Izu goes for one, but no trade from his teammates as he gets taken out by Bane. Now the smoke perfect to cover up Carpe as he's trying to peek out. He gets stuck, and he realizes exactly what's going on. Two members on the site, 2v2, still aware of the potential flank and the lurk around. Saya, he sees Foxy9, but the spy cam finds him. Time not on his side, trying to go for the kill. He wants to save the operator. He wants to get a candy dash out in time. Is he safe? Rossi and Carpe. Carpe waiting in the smoke. 
Should be dissipating soon, and there's the pop flash, but Buzz is slightly out of it. The Seekers to keep them at bay. Realizes that they're going to be stuck here at B main. One Seeker still trying to go towards mid, so they're well aware of the Lurk as well. Mako has to back off for the time being. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. 30 Those seconds close. left. Very, very close shots. This is great anticipation here by Carpe, recognizing that the flash last time went deep. This this time decided to get ahead of it by putting himself into that smoke, and this gives Saya player the ability to lure. No way, Saya. Oh. That's a very risky, greedy position to be taking. He's still going to try to peek out for another. Ten I mean, this is very close range. There's one right click. He tries Spike to go down, for another operator. They did something out of the ordinary there. Oh, Gives him the, oh he missed Goes this. right over Carpe's head. Now the op dropped as well, and the one hope that Derek's had in this round, it might just give an opening for T1 to claw back. Two members still pressuring, but they will not greet for more space. They understand that they have secured this position. Ramp being taken over by Bane. The next duelist himself, can he get the op kill? He gets one, he's quick with it, but he shows his back. Mako there for the trade, and T1, what seemed like an absolutely unlosable round, starts slipping away from their grasp. The Seekers. Look at him, he's, look, he's going proactive. And just looking for one extra kill as they have no idea where they are, and Mako finds it. Saya tries to turn the corner close, and now Rossi, just the judge, has to make noise if he wants to upgrade a weapon. Finds one close, but he knows that Mako's weak. He doesn't get the kill. Buzz, are you aware of it? There's the drop, and once again, the judge fails Rossi. No justice will be served tonight. The Saya player fights for his lives, but it's too many members. Bane clears out ramp. 3v3 for DRX to try to take us to the deciding map of Bind. Spike will get planted. Ramp control, main control in favor of DRX. Spike planted. Izu gets through, finds one. Not able to turn around against Bane on that paranoia. Here's the from the shadows. So are you aware? Is he going to finish that TP? He does. And Carpe. Recognizes it right away. There's a mural theft. Carpe, does he have an idea? They know where the cyber cage came from. He's trying to wait to try to paint Foxy9 for a peek. Still quite a bit of time on that spike. Carpe just waiting for the peek out. Looks like he's gonna go for the half. And Foxy9, he's gonna rush forward. He doesn't want the half to be done. He jumps, he's waiting to see. He hears that he's not sticking it. He hears the shot still coming through. And he's still jiggling, and he gets the kill through the wall! Foxy9 brings DRX across the finish line. Yeah, DRX, they want to clear it out. They know that time is running low, and there's a wide swing from Rossi. Draws out all the crosshairs. Saya will stabilize with another kill, but are they aware that Buzz is holding close? Saya, this site has not been cleared just yet. He tries jumping, doesn't find it, and he goes for the jiggle, and Buzz finds the kill. Now, spike down in showers. Bane catching Excure from behind. It's just down to Izu, and he does not have enough time to go across for the spike. He realizes this. He's been left. spotted. He has to go for a pop flash, trying to eliminate everyone, but it's eventually going to pop in his face, of course, since that changed with his life. So no Gecko once again. And now trying to creep through. Mako's ready for it with the Ghost as well. A huge upgrade for DRX. Oh, that's brutal now. Now he's got a lot more options to play with or the side of DRX. Smoke. There you go, Mako grabbing that Phantom. Still have the Harbor utility to set yourself up for this hit. Flashes as well. Yeah, the Fragment just going to keep them at bay. They cannot drop into the site just yet. That high tide will be running out of time. Reposition around the Cascade. So Snax is ready for it. Buzz just trying to hold on to main. There's the Showstopper. He finds him close, and it's going to be Stacks and Buzz, the duo. That cleans up the kills, all down to Saya player. One Vandal left, he won't get to carry it over, and it's a flawless on the bonus for DRX. In fact, it's gonna be actually the Bane smoke It's gonna be used to set up that one way. Mako's just too good. Yeah, just keeping a timer as well as he's jiggling back and forth. Shower's now held on, and T1, they're just going for a set. They will have to try to fake things out if they can draw out some of the utility. But look at the minimap buzz, blast back and forward for left. the flank. They want to keep T1 trapped. They don't want to give him an opportunity to try to take the TP. And T1's not going to get it as Buzz has arrived. They have to push the site. They have to clear out all the members of TRX. But Bane finds one. Mako a second, a third in the round. And Bane with another as well. His teammates still have to give up lamps, but not the most crucial of areas. But the flash oh. is good. And it's going to be the transfer over with the Stinger. Saya good for two. 
but it's going to be reclaiming the backside of the crash. He lets it pass. He's pushing forward. Stacks, he finds one. Can he find the Gecko? He's good for a triple, a quad, and he's out for the ace. The IGL of DRX. Spike has been planted. DRX has to remember the mission still ongoing out in the open. Just a stinger for Excurit's Harbor. The zero point will find him. Lamps secured. They know the objective. And Stax checking for the box. Cyber Cage comes out. Stax not watching the ace. Wants to secure the round by them at T1. They're going to try to push through, but the Cyber Cage isn't good enough. Oh, he expects the wide swing, but Ease is going to land the shot. And now the rest of the members of DRX, they have to hold on, but it's three members pushing elbow, but the blast pack does wonders. T1 still answering back two to one in numbers. It's going to be Excurit and Rossi, the new members, the global members here or the Korean squad of T1 up against Mako, the rock of Korea, trying to tap the defuse, pushes up, and Rossi just gonna peek right back in from the toxic screen. Kind of execute heavy style, and it's been pretty well handled. Cool. Yeah, well, there is the Dizzy and the Guiding Light, but Izu can't get far away enough from the trap wire in time. Saya not covering his back either. Rossi now finally there for the trade, but it's still a 4v3 in favor of TRX. Carpe trying to fade out a little bit of a reaction. They recognize where Foxy Nine's location is, but backup has arrived. Backside filled up by Stax and Bane. Right here. Even Buzz seconds left. getting prepared to rotate over. Once they hear the spike plant, he's looking to approach. There's the Dizzy, but they're ready for it. Spike it's going to be Foxy Nine Cyber Keys that keeps remaining. them held, allowing Stax to get another double in this round. And Buzz will get the finisher. Eight to one to draw out the attention. Mako, is he aware of it? He is. You just cannot fake out this guy. Okay. He's been through Monster so move. many different rounds. And now a 5v4. Not the best weaponry for T1. Buzz down to 6 oh HP. God. But his job now just to draw aggro from Excure. Keep him tied up as the members on T1 start to dwindle down one by one. Carpe putting down the Mosh early. Wanted to make sure that the utility is there. He gets one kill against Foxy9. Now they try to swarm in against the safe fight. And they all get sprayed down by the Stinger. Finally, a second round. Eco. Oh, they're walking right into it. There's the trail, there's Andy, doesn't fight. He waits for the extra memories. He goes for a second. And Buzz shuts down the entire approach from Showers. He's still aiming for a third. Foxy and I will pick up that kill as they get tagged by the Cypher Utah. Mako peeks out amongst the chaos, making sure to cover his teammates' backs. And in a blink of an eye, it's only Rossi with 35 HP and a dream. All five members of DRX left alive. Allow Stax to still stay on the B site just in case. Trying to get over the strip bar. He gets tagged. He's afraid of the swarm coming in. Bane just drawing the attention. This is all so Buzz to try to get what seems like another showstopper. But Mako <laughs> says, uh-uh, this is going to take too long. Brave. Carpe down to 3 HP. Carpe trying to plant with oh. the wingman. Rossi's going to spray as oh. the Dizzy tags. Rossi trying to open up the site, trying to bring home just one more standing. round. And Carpe and Excurit will both get another. Buzz now all down to him. He already took down the Zaya player, but there's four more members. There. Trying to recreate the magic <laughs> of the 10 2 in the first half, but these snake bites have a different idea. Nope. He down just a little too early. That's going to be Carpe taking it down first. With a swing out. All right, Buzz gets three. Right. Skirit waiting for it. He's good for one. He expects another, but it's going to be three. And he's not able to clean up the rest of the kills. Stacks and Buzz, they won't push their luck any further. And they repeat, but a quick TP Five in from side player and Rossi. Now a quick 2v2. Foxy, is he going to go for the teleport play alongside his teammate? He's got to wait for Mako to slide up by the door if he's going to go there. But instead, Mako's going to try a different angle, see if they can crunch. From sight, spikes down, so T1 playing it a little bit close to the vest, but now they're starting to push oh, out. I mean, this is just a timing oh, read on both sides. DRX trying to check if they push through, and Mako will turn around in time. Oh. And that's TP Saya with a frenzy. It's just in range, Woo. and a triple on the execute, and it looks like it's just going to come right through from DRX, oh. and Buzz finds Rossi right above the high tide. He's trying to look for more, just being the scout for his teammates. The pop flash will keep them at bay, but Bane still gets one. Excurit trying to stay desperately alive. He eventually goes down, and now just Saya player and Carpe. Saya player holding on to Hookah. Carpe, he's got Foxy9 behind him. Doesn't have as much time as he thinks he does. Needs to find this first kill. Trying to check for Kobe. Yeah. A lot to work with. 
backs out, but there, that's just enough time as he backs out for the Dizzy. Or for Team One, trying to push out, just going for dry contact, and they will get one, trying for the pop flash, it's enough just to buy time, no it's not! Buzz catches them on the exit. T1 perhaps trying to greet for yet another kill. That's the oh. of them. And Buzz, he's now in the flow state. Gets a triple kill. Trying to open up the site all on his own. Calls for Bane. Calls for Spike. Meanwhile, Mako still opening a site in case he gets stopped on the entry. Look at this. Bane still holding right by, but it doesn't matter. It's just kills across the map. This is going to be enough here for Izu. The pop flash, pop flash comes through Izu, but it's only a Guardian. He can't get the second kill. Carpe. Will equalize things now a four to three lead in members. That's a great adjustment here by T1. Shutting down some of this early aggression, taking the showstopper out of the equation. Now you have a bunch of ults to work with if. Perhaps the jump peak catching a glimpse on the way down the dizzy and then the thrash to keep them tied up. One's been detained, Foxy9 hiding in and out of the cyber cage, but that's gonna be enough. The orb now picked up by Mako, recognizing that the round is already lost. Just wants to get closer to the Viper's pit. Take a look at the creds. Well enough for GRX, so Mako just looking to see if he can get a kill. Bouncing back and forth within their own Viper's pit. Izu couldn't find the kill onto Mako, and now it's all coming from one side. TR is well aware of this possibility. The spray's coming through, but it's just about keeping the Viper alive. Carpe stuck in lamps. He gets spotted in the last second as Buzz secures the kill. Stacks. DRX, all of DRX coming through. They take down Saya player, and it's just one member of Excurit who could not find an opening in. Stax just looking to buy time and lamps. The rest of his teammates setting up in Evan. Stax, if he can get a kill here, it might as well secure the entire map, and he gets it. T1, they still have so much to clear. They have to push out. Excurit will answer back, but it's just two members against three. Util still in the hands of DRI. Somali lands, and Rossi goes down. And Excurit, the last one standing, but he will fall to the IGL of DRX. And DRX says once again, we return to try to reclaim our throne.